As we all know, had one of the great years in Notre Dame basketball, and as I always say, Notre Dame moments. Well, as you go back, and let's go back into you went to Italy this summer, mm -hmm. and you saw what you had, Grant coming back and getting them refocused to what the values are as far as his role on that team, and all of a sudden, things start to click about leadership with Grant and Connaughton taking charge. Well, Coach, we talked so many times in the summer, you know, uh, about Italy and how important it was to us because we lost 17 games right, last year. Right. And we were trying to figure out this ACC. But to have us together in July and August to coach them for 10 practices and to let Pat and Jaron establish themselves as our leaders was really a key. And, Coach, I think it made us more confident and more ready early in the season so we could beat a Michigan State to actually get confident. Well, I, I thought, Mike, when you go back and look at how you brought this team along as a coach and how you established that identity early in the season with the three amigos, <laughs> when I used to call Connaughton Jackson, Demetrius, yes. as well as Grant, making sure that things came in place early in the season. And then I thought the biggest adjustment is how you got Zach August ready to compete in that front line so he can get double doubles points and rebounds well we talked about old Demetrius joining the big two and the two seniors and he did that you know he got confident and he actually was a leader coach the last month of the season which sets him up for next year to be the voice but Zach August for us to do anything special had to become a key guy and I thought the last six weeks of the season he calmed down his emotions were more positive energy he rebounded he did the little things and it does set him up I think for a big senior year the X factor to me, Mike, Bonzi. He just really come off that bench. He did. You trusted him. You gave him the right playing time. And for a guy who's not 6'8", 6'9", he's rebounding and scoring the paint like he was 6'10", All-American. An amazingly efficient guy, Coach. 6'5", um, but the wingspan, 6'11". I don't know what position he plays, and I don't care. Because when he <laughs> – you've had guys like this. Yes. Because when he plays, he just gets stuff done. He's productive. And, man, I love the fact that he's coming back really confident next year. The guy who really, I thought, at both ends of the floor, had a great year, Vastoria. He was unbelievable, Mike. Not just shooting, but guarding and taking the challenge to shut people down defensively. Absolutely, Coach. Probably the unsung guy of the whole nation basketball. They talked about all their other guys, and they'd always go, oh, yeah, and Vastoria. Well, we would say, who's the best perimeter player? Steve, you got him. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, Steve, make every big shot. He did that. Make every big free throw. And he comes back as a junior and such a key guy for us, but really clutch a beautiful basketball player on both ends of the floor. Great feel for the game, and I love the fact that I got two more years with him. What I thought the turning point of the season was, as you go through, and we can talk about, you know, the loss at Pitt yep. and Syracuse here and all that, but the way uh, Duke spanked you the second time. <laughs> but more importantly to me, I felt that, as you know, the Miami game in the ACC tournament, you're up 20, you go down two. They come back, yep. your guys, and you win that game. And now it's showtime to get ready for a rematch against Duke. I thought it really jump-started us. We held off yep. that run. We did. And then we had momentum when we believed. And, boy, we got out of the gate great against Duke. And we're, we were getting off the good starts. Yes. And, and we talked about that in the postseason, getting out of the gate and getting off the good starts. And that really got us confident throughout March. And then from the other side of it, though, to get back to the Carolina game for the championship. I mean, if we go back, Carolina and Duke the last, say, four years have been struggling. We can talk about how Miami was good and NC State, so to speak, Florida, Florida State, State, Virginia, Virginia, and now here comes Notre Dame. But the point was you still had to beat Duke and Carolina back-to-back, -back, and that doesn't happen to many teams. Especially on Tobacco Road. Oh. Because their people had the whole building yes. on Friday, Saturday night. So, you know, really powerful. I'm, I'm really proud of our group to win a championship. And, you know, we haven't been in a league very long, you know. And, That's and, right. and, and so to win a league championship, I think, is hopefully something we can really build on in our that, program. That, that's the difference between when I coach here as an independent and maybe 32 teams are going to the right. big dance. There's no at-larges. We had to play the nation to get a bit. But when you focus to your second year in the ACC and what you got accomplished, Mike, that was amazing because I felt this way. Once you got to the big dance, and then there are two game weekends, as yep. you well know. Yep. You take care of business the first two, and then all of a sudden here it is. You got Wichita State, who's got three amigos also, when you look at their backcourt mm -hmm. and what they were with Cotton and company, Baker, as well as the other kid that I loved. Yeah. Your Van guys, Fleet. Van Fleet, your guys just showed up. 
And that was a big win. That was a huge huh. win for us. I mean, you know, the thump, yes. you know, to thump them in the Sweet 16. You know, I thought we played with a little bit of the weight of the world on us in Pittsburgh, which happens yes. when you're a higher yes. seed. Yep. And then by the time we got to Cleveland, we were just kind of going for it. And God, I just, you know, you've had teams like that. You just don't want to overcoach no. them. Just no. get them rested, yep. get them focused, and let them play. And that's where I thought Jackson, okay, as the X factor with the three amigos, but Connaughton and Grant making things happen. And as you well know, you get to play Kentucky, you get them back since 79, the first team back to get to the final eight and get a shot at the final four. But when I look back over this season, I say, okay, fine, we're losing two guys. Mm -hmm. Then I look at saying, who's coming back? And we had Demetrius in here last night. And of course, I'm throwing a little shot that the torch has been patched. Pass to you Very good. from Very Grant good. and Connaughton because now, oh, it's your turn yes. to lead this team because there's no excuse. Zach's playing, Vestoria's playing, we got Bonzi back. And you know how I love Beecham. He's hey, coming. Oh, let's go. We're picking up where we left off. And that's what you're looking for coming up in this season. No question. We have a great nucleus back of kids that won a championship together. So there's a great momentum around our program. We do need a little bit of a break here because we've been going since Italy. Yeah. And so I want to get the kids out of here for a while. But when we come back in June and our incoming freshmen will be there, I'm excited about getting started with them. You should be. And the only thing I'll say, the difference between you and, you know, when I walked in the week after the Final Four and there's a practice going on, I says, man, I told my guys once we <laughs> lost in March, I'll see you guys in summer school. And I mean June, end of June summer school. I don't want to see you anymore. And there you are. With the way the rules are today, you guys can go out and get these kids going again? Coach, I was physically there. <laughs> I don't know, but it, I was just kind of watching because I didn't have much yeah. energy, but at least you had one practice with them. But I don't want to see them until June, yeah. and that'll be rested and ready to go again. That's the time when you and I need to go find a bottle of Lafitte Rothschild 2000 and We're say, do it. we'll see next season. <laughs> Mike, I'm proud of you. You did a great job. I'm happy to see that Notre Dame basketball is where it should be in this century, so to speak, and taking that challenge in the ACC, look out, Duke. Carolina, Virginia, whoever, because the Irish will be back next year. Mike, thanks. Coach, I, I appreciate your friendship and mentorship. It's meant a lot in my 15 years here, and I thank you for everything. But let's not talk basketball for no. a month. Let's get some wine. Yeah, let's go out and get some. <laughs>